Us. Welcome everybody. I'm going to show you how to tie your belt today. There are in essence two ways of doing it. I will show the first and then the second and then I'm going to show you from a different angle to make it easy for you to do the follow. Find the middle piece of your belt so that the two ends are at the same distance. Make sure that your gi is nice and covering your body. Always left over right. If your logo is on your left side of your chest, it will always be on the outside. Find the middle piece and put it on your belly button. You are going to then make sure that the belt on the back crosses. So it will cross on this side. And then when you turn around, you're going to take the right one first and it goes underneath and at the back of everything in the front and then you're going to take it out. The reason for it is if you only do it around the front piece of the belt, if in class from exertion you will then let your belt go untied, then it's easy for it to fall down. So this will go over everything, behind everything, and then you will take it out like this. You will then have one to the bottom and one to the top. Now comes the tricky part. The one on the left will go over everything and underneath through the loop. And then you will give it a little tuck like this. It will then hang over into this position. You can adjust it so that the two pieces, and you must always try to keep it the same length. Now, the Japanese, in terms of the organization name on the one side usually, in our case, Neon Karate Kyukai, and on the other side, your name in Japanese is then visible so that when you tie your belt, they will nice and loose hang forward like this. You can then adjust your belt Make sure that your suit looks nice and presentable. If you look to the back, you will see that the crossing is on your spine at the back. So maybe you prefer that option. It gives you a little bit of support on your lower back if you cross it. So it makes it a bit stronger when you do this version. I will now show you the second version. You will again make sure that the belt is equal length but then you'll take the one piece and put it on your tummy like this allow from your hand where you're going to hold it that there is enough belt sticking out towards the end so you're going to hold it with your right hand and then take your left hand and slide the belt all the way around your body at the back try and catch it on this side with this hand Take the back piece again over this piece and it goes again behind your back. So if I turn around slowly to this way, it will then be in the front, in fact, where the cross is happening. So if you look at the back, you will make sure that the belts are overlapping perfectly on the back. Once you have it in the front, the same procedure applies. The right goes over, under everything, against your body, and you slide it out from behind. Again, one piece down, one piece goes up. Again, over, under, through the loop, Take the two ends and tie it nice and tight. Make sure again it falls in this position for the Japanese to be visible and ensure that the two lengths are of equal distance. Again you can adjust your belt and your suit and now when you turn around you'll have the two belts perfectly overlapping and like I said it's actually underneath the belt knot where the cross is happening and 
that is the second version. So I'm now going to show you a different angle and this is much easier because it's like you are going to put on your own belt. Again, find the middle piece of the belt, make sure that the two ends are at the same length. Take the middle piece, put it on your belly button, slide it to the back both ends, cross them at the back and bring the two ends again to the front. Make sure that the two pieces in the front are of equal length. Take the right hand side and over everything against your body, slide it from behind with your hand out and then make sure that the one piece goes to an angle on the right and the other piece goes to an angle on the left. Take the left piece, bring it all the way over, through the loop, change hands, and then take the two ends and give it a tuck. Bend them both over so that the logos are visible from the front. Make sure that the two ends are the same length. You can adjust it by sliding it a little bit to make it nice and comfortable for you, and then fixing your suit. So that is an easier way of doing it from the top.